Hey guys, welcome back to this beginner's guide using Maya 2017. In my previous video, I showed you guys how to UV on Rapidus Basic Object. Um, so in today's video, I will be showing you how to export it from Maya into Substance Painter. So hopefully when you um, UV on Rapture Object, you laid your UVs out something similar to this, making sure there's very minimal and um, wasted resolution. Now what I mean by that is you see all this empty area here, you see all the space that the, um, the shell isn't taken up in my 0 to 1 working space that being this whole square here. Well, that's all wasted resolution. Um, if I downscale this and exported this into Substance Painter, all we'll have is this little bit of resolution to play with when um, painting our textures. So you want to make sure that um, your shells are big, but not too big so that they're bleeding outside of your zero to one working space. So as you can see, if I zoom in very closely, it's not going over that green line. And same here, and none of them are going outside. And, and also when you're, um, Move, when you're placing your shells as well, you want to make sure that none of them are overlapping as well because that would just cause issues when um, exporting or when painting your uh, textures in Substance Painter. So once you've laid them out like this, something similar to this, you can then um, select your object. In fact, yeah, we, we then go to Edit, Delete by Type, History, Modify, Freeze, Modify, Reset, or is it the other way around? Modify, Freeze, Modify, Reset, modify freeze and then we file export selection um, and then you can save it wherever you want to but I'm going to save mine in my YouTube folder store tutorial and name this file now you want to make sure it's an FBX um, format also so file.fbx cool export selection done um, and now we can launch up substance painter so fire that up um, oh doesn't this look awesome I l substance painter is such a great um, 3D painting tool, honestly. Um, it's so awesome. Oh, damn it, I only have 111 days left of my license. So, yeah, if we go to File New and you want to make sure that your template is set to PBR Metal Roughness, um, there is a reasoning to that and it's a very long um, bit of reasoning. Um, you can find information if you um, do a bit of research on YouTube. Um, but for now, let's just find our um, FBX file. Mine's here. So I'm going to select that. Now your document resolution, I'm going to choose 2K for now, but you can upscale this or lower it um, if your PC can't really handle 2K at any moment in time, which is great. So I'm going to set minus 2K and click OK. And awesome, so my, my, um, my object has now loaded in Substance Painter, which is awesome. Can I paint onto it? Brilliant. Um, everything's painting with ease, no issues at all. Um, so yeah guys, that is how you export a 3D object from Maya and import it into Substance Painter. Um, thank you for watching. In my next video I'll be teaching you guys how to bake your textures in a Substance Painter. So stay tuned for that. That will be coming out next week. So take care guys.